The year is 2029, and the echoes of a bitter civil war still cast a grim shadow over its new capital. In 2028, a civil war had collapsed this once great nation into chaos. Liberal and academic ideas were swept aside, as racial religious factions and neo-nationalists fought a bitter civil war, in which more than half of the population paid in loss of liberty and blood. Now a new order is in place, bolstered by racial and religious intolerance, its neo-nationalist stormtroopers holding its victory in an iron grip. He was a shadow, a figure cloaked in rags that clung to his thin frame, his face a roadmap of scars etched by the harshness of life. Jake, now in his thirties, former military veteran once a proud soul with dreams and ambitions, now wandered the streets like a ghost in a world that had moved on without him. Jake had found himself on the wrong side of that tumultuous divide, a pawn in a game he never truly understood. And now, all that remained were shattered memories, broken dreams, and an empty heart. Once, he had a home a family, a life that all held promise. But the conflict had devoured it all, leaving him with nothing but memories of what once was. The scars on his body told stories of battles fought and lost, but the deeper scars were the ones that no eye could see, the wounds that had severed the ties that once bound him to others. He clutched a makeshift sign in his trembling hand, the words, scrawled upon it a stark admission of his plight, will work for food. His gaunt eyes scanned the indifferent faces that passed him by, a great sea of humanity lost in their own struggles, their own traumas. He was a ghost to them, a phantom of a forgotten war, a relic of a time when survival meant more than just a daily battle for sustenance. Each day, was a struggle for survival. He scavenged through trash bins, seeking any morsel of food that hadn't been tainted by the harsh realities of this new order. His stomach growled in protest, a constant reminder of his hunger. But his hunger was more than just a physical ache, it was a hunger for belonging, for purpose, for a glimpse of the life, that had been stolen from him. He slept in car parks, and underpasses. It offered a fragile shelter from his inner storm, a fleeting sanctuary in a world devoid of safety. He huddled on the floor, his tattered clothes a feeble barrier against the biting cold. Sleep, when it finally came, was fitful and haunted by twisted memories and shattered hopes. Days blended into nights, a never-ending cycle of desperation. He scoured for morsels of discarded food, his dignity eroded by the primal need to survive. The world had become a savage landscape, a wasteland of broken promises and shattered ideals. One day, as he sat in the park, his broken guitar by his side, a woman approached him. Her eyes held a flicker of compassion that he had long thought extinct. Another stranger, but also a fellow wanderer in this unforgiving terrain, extended a hand of kindness. They talked, and she listened to his story without judgment. She shared tales of her own struggles, her own losses. For the first time in two years, he felt a connection, a fragile thread of human interaction that began to stitch together the tattered remnants of his soul, without judgment or expectation. In that act of compassion, a spark ignited within him, a spark that whispered of the possibility of redemption. He began to piece together fragments of his lost life, one step at a time. He had finally connected with someone who, like himself had been cast aside by the new order, now they clung to each other in the face of adversity. They shared stories of the past, of the war that had torn their world asunder, and found solace in the shared burden of their scars. 
but the city remained a harsh mistress, unforgiving in its indifference. And as the seasons changed and the years rolled by, the man in his thirties continued his journey, his path uncertain yet resolute. He had lost everything and everyone, but he had found a new purpose, a purpose born from the ashes of a broken world. Would he find a place to truly call home? Would he uncover the truth behind the war that had stolen his life? Or would he forever wander, a ghost of the past in a world struggling to rebuild itself? Only time would tell, for his story was still being written, one hungry chapter at a time. And as he faced each new day with determination and a flicker of hope, he carried with him the resilience of a survivor, the strength of a lost soul finding his way, and the unwavering spirit of someone who refused to be defined by the chaos that had consumed his world. <laughs>